Another night draws to a close for our wonderful crew members as they slowly begin to see the dawn and start a new day, a third cycle, if you will, into all of their fantastic research, energy production, and food consumption. No one has finished hooking up this second oxygen refiner yet, so no one really feels safe coming up here, though it is breathable. It would not hurt for it to be better. It looks like Ginger may be taking up the uh, plan to do composting. We're not sure. Oh, nope. She's actually decided to finish this wiring system. Good for you, Ginger. Steve, getting quite the workout has charged all the batteries and will soon fall off the treadmill. Yep, there he goes. Good for you, Steve. Nope, oh, Ginger's got a potty. Well, it looks like Steve might make that difficult. With no floor, you can't get to the potty. It's okay, Ginger. Uh-oh. Not Vegeta needs the potty, but Ginger's in there. She's done, though. Ooh, that was close. It could have been a real situation. Wow, we completely forgot that we need a couple of food generation tools, or these people will starve soon. Hopefully they have some seeds to plant. Everyone's used the toilet and is back at work. Now why did you decide to start with that one? Why, we do have plants. Good for us. We'll have to take what we get for now, as long as it keeps the, the colonist fed and happy. That's really all they can ask for at this time. And there's our compost. And the oxygen machine is hooked up, but has no algae in it yet. Perhaps we should remind them to uh, get some algae. Oh, goodness. How is this water research going? You guys will have a shower soon. Are you excited? No one looks quite excited for the possibility of a shower, even though everyone is dirty and has a sore back. Ah, a sore back, of course. No one has a bed yet. They might like one. Currently, there's only room for three. But we can fix that. This will especially be a problem when our new roommate joins quite soon. Everyone's getting better and better at their jobs and moving right along day to day. Not Vegeta has decided to begin digging near the polluted oxygen and polluted water. 
What will ever happen? They'll have to be careful. Or they could get sick. The team seems to be running low on algae. This is going to start causing oxygen issues soon if they do not find more. The team has a decision to make. Do they continue going upwards and open up this water? Do they break into the carbon dioxide and go across? Or do they dig through this water system into more oxygen? First, let's introduce the next member of our team! Will it be Harold? He's got an iron gut and he's a twinkle toes, which means he's lad on his feet. But he's also a mouth breather, so he consumes much more oxygen. Will it be Ada, who's quite an all-around good person, but refuses to dig at all. Even though she's plus one in digging, she cannot dig. Or will it be Hassan, who's just as amazing as Ada, but is also a narcoleptic yokel? I think we should go with Hassan. With Hassan joining the team, he's clearly the most efficient member now. Will there be new fights between the other team members? Let's watch and find out. Oh, Ginger's narcolepsy has kicked in once again. In the middle of research, no less. Will the team survive? They need this water. Oh, Hassan, while being the most efficient digger, has also started digging closer to the polluted oxygen. This is risky. Steve has picked up where Ginger left off, and Ginger has picked up where someone else has clearly left off. We've got water. So a liquid pump. We'll need to be put down in that water. This could be bad. They've broken through into the polluted oxygen, but don't seem to be affected with it yet. They're moving away from it, and perhaps... Just maybe we'll be safe. Someone will need to come in and... place a pump. So we'll get that started for them. Is this right? I don't know what to tell them, to be perfectly honest. Ah, no more science is happening. Let's add some power regulation. It amazes me that the colonists decide to dig and dig and dig all the time, but never seem to want to pick up after themselves until it's just absolutely time to pick up. Hassan, being the most skillful new member of the team, has already grabbed the bed for himself, leaving Steve out in the cold. Will this cause any unresolved issues between the two? We'll find out next time.
Maybe. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to tune in next time to Outrageous Paradise! <laughs>